the state's top legislative priority is still a ways away from becoming law, but there are many questions this morning about the social media ban for minors. The law calls for banning accounts for kids under 14 years old with parental permission for 14 and 15 year olds. Our Stephanie Valderrama spoke with a social media and software engineer about the possible challenges ahead, like how terminating accounts would work and how the whole thing will be enforced. Steph, what did you learn? Yes, good morning, Matt and Sam. So the last two pages of that legislation actually dive into the age verification process, but even reading it multiple times, it's still relatively vague. So that legislation states an independent third-party company would anonymously verify a user's age. Now, the law states the company would be based in the U.S. and not owned or controlled by any foreign government, and it would not be allowed to retain any information provided after the user's age is verified. Verified. It's also important to note this law also puts into place age verification for websites in order to prevent minors from stumbling upon pornographic or sexually explicit content. Now, as you mentioned, I spoke with tech expert and software engineer Jason Frankovitz, who explains technically the initial process of verification would not be anonymous. Now, how exactly they're going to verify that age in terms of like what information they're going to use, as well as which company or agency is going to be tasked with doing this, still up in the air. I've reached out to the state attorney's office multiple times for clarification, but all of my emails have gone unanswered. Now, I did speak with Frankovitz, as I mentioned, and he explains how he believes this process may work. You obviously can't rely on children to say, oh, trust me, Trust me, fellow adults, I'm 18. Um, so I think the only feasible way that it could happen would to be uh, would be to have the the vouching of an adult. An adult can uh, upload their driver's license. They can provide a social security number. They can um, uh, they can sign some type of online version of an affidavit attesting to the fact that they are a certain age and they could be made to understand that if they are not being honest in their attestation, then there could be penalties or there could be consequences for that. So according to this law, social media platforms can close accounts that are likely owned and operated by 14 and 15 year olds. However, a user has 90 days to dispute that termination. Parents can also request a termination of any account for someone younger than 14 and social media platforms must terminate those accounts within 10 days. Now, Franco Witt says in his expert opinion, he does believe that the verification process will ultimately fall on parents. Now, this law doesn't go into effect until January of next year. Of course, count on us to keep pressing the state attorney general's office for more clarification about how this will all play out. Matt, Sam, back to you.